Hi, I'm Chuck Fast, and today the veterans are telling stories. We're telling stories here on the PCC campus, and uh, I'm going to be telling a story about boot camp, and it's going to be a comical one. I didn't want it to be too serious, so I wanted to try to have just at least a few laughs anyway. I'm curious how many other companies that this might have happened in their boot camp. This is not a story that I tell very often because it's, it's goofy. And it was comical once or twice. Something Boot camp is a different kind of experience. It's, you're full of trepidation when you get in there and once you're in there you're not much more comfortable. Uh, it's, uh, it can be tough but uh, sometimes you can uh, relieve that with a little bit of laughter and this night we did. It, it was still tough, but uh, the, the way the night started out was is inspection. And uh, it's dark. We're all inside our company in our barracks, and they're going to inspect our rack and our, our rack and our uh, locker and all that, because everything has to be perfect. We learn discipline. You learn that uh, how to be a perfectionist when you're in boot camp because your rack, they have, if they can hold a quarter up, drop it, it has to bounce, so it has to be uh, tight. And everything in your locker has to be set in its place. Your underwear is over here, your socks over there, folded a certain way, and all of that. Uh, your sea bag has to be in order. And uh, so they started out by inspecting our quarters, and they inspected the first guy, and uh, they looked in his sea bag and they found a tag in it. Well, no, no. Uh, we we're supposed to remove all of our tags from everything, all of our clothing and everything. It was one of the rules. I don't know if it's one of the 11 general orders or whatever, but uh, at any rate, uh, uh, they found this, a tag in this guy's sea bag. So they told the guy, we want you to walk up to the next recruit and say, look at him, hold up your tag, and say, I found a tag in my sea bag. And don't laugh. And if he laughs, we're going to get him. So he started, and guys start cracking up, you know, because it was so stupid, you know. And the next guy, they had him down. All right, you laughed, so now I want you to crawl around on the floor like a dog. And I want you to walk up to each guy and say, I laughed when he said he found a tag in his sea bag. And so here you had a dog crawling up, and then, and then had another guy, guys on the floor rolling around like snakes and like uh, making cat sounds and all kinds of animal sounds. Pretty soon the whole barracks was just uh, an animal house of guys that crawling and, and everything else. And uh, uh, that went on for quite a while. I, I just curious if this ever happened to anybody else because uh, it was funny as hell now that I think back on it. Some of the guys were really stressed. They uh, were almost going to fall over. They didn't want to laugh. They, and, 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 but overall, it was pretty funny. I can't remember how long I lasted. I must have came through it okay because I remember it as being pretty funny. And we learned humility. So that's my little funny story. I've probably talked enough. I could pull out more, but it was rewarding in the sense that we were able to finish it. A lot of guys were not able to do that. And then there was the trepidation of what lies ahead. After that, I went into the Merchant Marines many years later, which I never thought I would do, and uh, I became an able-bodied sailor doing a totally different job, working out on the deck, working with the lines, and working Again, working as a lookout. So as a watchstander, we learned about attention to detail. And so from the Navy and right on into the Merchant Marines, which is considered like the, the fifth arm of defense, because we, I worked for the Military Sea Lift Command, and I was out on ships, and I was in the Persian Gulf, and that was only a few years ago. But we stood watch all through the night out there on those ships, and we learned to have a sharp eye for detail. So that, I took that away from my service.